Hey guys, it's Viva, and today I'm going to do a slightly different video. It's not going to be about books. I just thought that if you're anything like me, you'll always wonder who in the crowd around you is a fangirl or a fanboy, because that is something that const constantly goes on in my mind, and it's really quite hard to identify whether someone's a fangirl or a fanboy, and also to what extent. Oh. There are different levels of being a fangirl. You, you're, there's a level at which you're sort of just like, oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I'm going to be slightly obsessed with this. And then it goes up and then you reach sort of my level where you are completely obsessed with something and will spend all your time thinking about it, dreaming about it, getting all the merch there is in the world. That That is the highest level of fangirl. So how do you know if someone is a fangirl or a fanboy? Well, I've got a couple of tips for you. Number one is quite obvious, it is the merch. So. Typically, a fangirl or a fanboy will have t-shirts of their favourite fandoms, or jewellery, or badges on their bags, or their bags, um, or just various accessories. Uh, for example, I wore this to college once, and um, we were sitting at lunchtime, and my friend pointed at it and started crying. And we were all a little bit confused. Quite confused, actually. So we'd be like, what, are you okay? What's wrong? And she was like, <laughs> that film's so sad. Now that is quite extreme for a fangirl. She is oh, she's not much of a fangirl, I wouldn't say, but obviously the Fault in Our Stars means something to her. Another one is if you see someone doing this, oh my god, oh my god, at any time they are most likely a fangirl because that's something I do a lot. For example, this is quite a scary story, so be warned. I was in the car with my mum and we were driving down quite a busy road and a bus with the Maze Runner poster drove past and that was the first time I'd seen the Maze Runner poster on a bus. So I got a bit excited and went, oh my god, oh my god, mum, mum, look! She thought there was something coming at us or there was something in the road, I don't know what she thought, but she lost control of the car and we kind of swerved out of the road and we almost died, so children, don't repeat this at home. No. Another one is crying in public when reading. Obviously blurbs and reviews on Goodreads will not tell you the massive spoilers in a book. So when you're reading a book for the first time, not if you're reading rereading a book obviously, but who has time to reread books when you have a pile of about 100 TBRs? But anyway, if you're reading in public and you have absolutely no idea what's going to happen in the end, fangirls will inevitably start crying. Number one, if you are reading in public, isn't that an indication you're a fangirl? But, if that's not enough, then if you see someone crying at a bus stop or um, in a cafe or at college in the library, then don't think they're weird because they're just one of us. <laughs> Why? It has happened a couple of times with me. Just, it's not strange, it's just natural. Another thing that fangirls and fanboys will be extremely good at is knowing everything about their fandoms. Now once you get into a fandom, that is it. Uh, fangirls will research everything there is to know about it, will get all the possible merchandise there is, and will, will pretty much be a walking encyclopedia of the fandom. I was watching The Hunger Games the other day. What's the name of that guy who plays Peter Mellark? Oh, you mean Josh Hutcherson? Yes, oh my god, he's amazing. You know he was born on the 12th of October 1992? He's also in British of Terabithia, if you didn't know, that's an amazing film, you should go and watch it. Oh, and also he has a younger brother called Connor, who's just as attractive as him, and he was born in Kentucky, and he's five foot seven, and also is an ambassador of the SBNN, which is the Straight But Not Narrow, if you didn't know that already. Um, okay. Thanks for that. Thank you, I'm just gonna... I I'm just gonna go now. Oh. Okay, bye. So that tends to happen quite a lot as well. The thing is, if you insult a fangirl's fandom, you will inevitably get the glare and probably a really, really long lecture about why the fandom is so amazing. Oh my god, I went to see The Maze Runner the other day at the cinema and it was terrible, actually terrible. What were they thinking when they were making the film? There's no plot, the actors are terrible. Excuse me, what? And then people tend to just shut up and run away before you get too aggressive. Yeah. Also, fangirls and fanboys will do absolutely anything to meet 
people from the fandom and also people the, who are their idols in the fandom. So for example, last year I went to the Mockingjay Part 1 premiere, which was absolutely amazing. I was this far away from Josh Hutchison. I was weeping, I was sobbing so much. It was surreal, it was literally, I still can't believe that I met him. And I couldn't see a thing in front of me. And I started crying because I was like, I've come all the way to London and I can't see anything. And there was this really short girl in front of me, bless her, who was like, well, I can't see anything anyway, so you can take my place. And thank you so much if you're watching this, which you won't be, but thank you. So yes, I was this much away from Josh Hutchison. <sighs> the best day of my life, literally. But we will do anything to meet our idols and meet other people in the fandom. And when we do, we go crazy. We actually go crazy. If you have ever been to a premiere, then you will know how crazy we go. Another thing that fangirls and fanboys do is day daydream about marrying that idol. Well, I don't know if this is what everyone does, but this is something that I certainly do. If I have a free moment, then I will be imagining me and Josh Hutchison. Tell me I'm not the only one. That is some of the ways that you can identify whether someone is a fangirl or a fanboy. Let me know in the comments below if there's any way that you use to identify fellow fangirls and fanboys. And yes, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Hasta la vista, bookworms. I love the bit with the night bus. It makes me laugh. Take it away, Ernie. That, that bit cracks me up.